Well, we're back up at the high tunnel. We're at the pepper bed. Uh, the banana peppers are really starting to kick it now. They're starting to grow everywhere. I don't know if there's one of them big enough to actually harvest anywhere yet. That one is, that one is close enough. That's close enough for you? At least to give us some fresh to eat. Okay, let's see if we can get that one off. Look at that. Oh, that's a nice banana pepper. We got plenty of spinach. Yep. And make a salad. Oh, another, it ain't quite ready yet. It ain't yet. ready yet. So in a few days, we're going to have bell pepper. I mean, a banana, banana peppers. We have a lot of banana peppers there. Now we've done eating here. one bell. Yeah, we've ate one bell. Now, here, let's look up under here. Look at this thing here. Look at that there. The way you tell a bell is you mash on it with your fingers. If it has very hard sidewalls, uh, back in the industry when I used to raise them commercially, that's what we uh, that's what we looked for. Now we snipped them with snippers, but uh, I broke this one off. This is very very hard. It's so nice, and it's not bug eating. It ain't bug eating. I mean, three it's lobes. Like, <laughs> it's like perfection. You know, I mean, you can't. That's ask. beautiful. That's beautiful. Look at it's huge. But the bigger one. And we have one down here. I won't let him do nothing with it yet. She wants it to turn red. Uh, look at that. This one is. Oh, it's uh, getting there. I got water. I hate to leave the water in the top of it because that'll make it want to start deteriorating. So we've, we've got, got little bells everywhere. Yeah, they're doing pretty good. And this is the red one. We've got some orange ones over there, and you know, so we're going to leave them on there. And I know when you leave them like that, the plant thinks it's going to seed and it'll quit making. But hopefully, we're going to be able to harvest a little bit off of these. This is uh, this is Miss Wanda's kitchen minis here. Look at the look at all the peppers in there. They're wadded up in there everywhere. I mean, there's about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and and tons of blooms. Uh, they just haven't turned orange yet. This one wants to wait for them to turn orange. But now we were looking at the tomato plant. Look at this. Now is this a red tomato or orange? Oh, I see there's a red one right in there. I'm trying to be careful with your plant. Yeah, don't bring a plant. Look at that. All right, I gotta try that. That's look like, at that. That is so tiny. Isn't that awesome? The other ones aren't quite there yet. Mmm, my first tomato. Oh, look at that. It's a it's a little burst. Is it of tomato? Wow. Very little burst of tomato. They're very tiny, just enough to make you want more. Exactly, but look how many, and they're gonna look be ready soon. Yeah, they're starting to actually make the turn now. Once they start turning, it's usually just a matter of time. Then. Game or, on. Game on. Yep. Guys, the eggplants have gone wild. They have just literally lost it. I mean, look at this. This this plant. Let's hope I mean, pollinators look, find them. They're above. They're above the uh, the the hoops we have here now. Look at the ones that were way behind back here. These don't have any electroculture, but they were way behind, and I came in and installed that irrigation system on them, and I've been watering the fool out of them. So, so electroculture on this side. Still non-electrical. These still are not big as those. No. But they're, they're still growing. That this is, is what we tell you that... Will it grow without the electroculture? Yeah, it grows, and you see the difference right And here. it would be looking pretty. But if they had the electroculture, they would be like that. So there is... And there's like there's all kinds of blooms. Yes. I mean, way more blooms. These are not even... These don't even have any blooms. Well, they're just now starting yeah, one bloom. One right there, I see. So that... And they were planted at the same time, the yeah, same day. Planted exactly the same time. Yeah. Does it work? It looks to me like it does. Now I want to check... Uh, these English peas here, because we picked them down yonder, these are planted way after the others in the Vago bed here. And look, they're going to catch up with them down yonder. Now these are, like I said, these are way after them. I think there's more blooms on these than there were. I think so. I see a... Huh? I see some beans. Already. Oh, I do see them there. Yeah. They actually have started forming. Yeah. And your yellow wax beans? Yeah, my yellow wax beans here are going to catch up with those down yonder, even those down yonder were planted weeks ahead of these. These are actually... Got little beans everywhere, so in a week? I, I imagine by by next week, yeah, we'll be picking, we'll be picking wax beans off of these. There's no doubt about that, yeah. 
question is Wanda planted her a purple pepper plants down here and look at this she's got one right here already turning purple look at that my spinach now i cut this last week oh. i've been eating spinach yes plus in the high tunnel i had a lot of spinach over there off one plant but look at this it's coming back out and usually the bugs would get it no bugs not yet not yet and abe lincoln's are starting to kick it yep they're and no uh, look at the big old watermelons man? look at that look the, at the that. plant that was gonna die it is going crazy i didn't give up on it i can't wait now look at these strawberries now do we have any i don't think we I don't they were blooming the other day so i don't know blooming. i don't know uh, i don't think they've had time i don't think that's what i think they say i don't think they've had time. and these are ever bearing so they bear several times yes oh yeah with one turning right here i got a tomato i moved it out of another that was the original kitchen minis i put the mint in that one this has got basil it's like rosemary rose yeah basil rosemary and thyme in this one we're gonna see how these little things do but look at these tomatoes look at this here this is the cherry tomatoes i don't know that any of them have turned yet this is the one i babied all winter yeah this one went through the 20 something degree temperatures and still made it i mean you can't you can't beat that there must be 100 tomatoes on that plant when this starts it starts now that one the early girls the early you girls, see how see bad how, they look look how pitiful this early girl looks y'all and it's I, I definitely will not recommend this for anybody in the, the early girls are just not going to be our tomato now here's a better boy right here the difference in the better boy look at look at those tomatoes yeah, I'm not 100% sure. We, I guess we've had tomatoes this early before in the high tunnels. but Yeah, in the high tunnels. But not, I mean, we're not, even though we're in a high tunnel, we're not in a high tunnel yet. Yeah, we're still, you we're can still see the blue, the blue sky. Blue sky out there, you know, we still don't have a top on it. Well, we're ready to put the plastic. We just can't seem to get the weather to do it. And look and at the cantaloupes. Cantaloupes have taken off, guys. I was, Blooms everywhere. I was going to give up on them, but look at this. Them little suckers is growing and blooming. They're going to take this whole bed over. This done come out here. This one over here. Look at this. They're starting to starting to make their trek. And we left these radishes, so maybe yeah. it'll kind of give them... The radishes will probably die out, but they, they should go to seed shortly. They'll go to seed shortly, yeah. Well, guys, uh, the worms have hit the cauliflower. These, here they are. Like, See these here? These worms like this, they've hit the cauliflower, you know what I mean? And that's because it has got to be warm temperatures now. That's what happens whenever you get the warm temperatures. So what we're gonna do, we have one right here that we've had tied up. We're gonna take a look at it, cause I gotta get it out. The worms are starting to hit it. I don't want them to uh, get into the cauliflower itself. And we weren't sure if we could even raise any, so we'll have to go earlier we, yeah, we got to get an earlier start. And in the fall. Yes. Now, I'm going to actually do this kind of like a cabbage so that we can get it out of here. We can take a better look at it. Take the leaves off. Yeah. The leaves are going to go to the rabbits, so don't worry, and chickens, so don't worry about that. We're going to have to wash the cauliflower because the worms have dropped droppings all down in here. But let's just take a look and see. If we can grow cauliflower. If we have our cauliflower here. If it's going to be worth it for me and Ms. Wanda. I can already tell you it's worth it. I ain't even need it yet. We're going to take and put a water hose on it here in a minute. Well, we're going to get a netting for cauliflower. Yeah, this coming year we'll cover. We'll have, we'll we have will covers. do netting. Vago sells a, uh, as, as sells a cover to go over these beds. This year we just didn't couldn't afford them. Next year, hopefully, we will have them for the cauliflower. For the cauliflower alone. Now, guys, look at look that. At you get all the yucky off. Yeah, we'll wash that all off, and look at the size of that head. That's a big. It's beautiful. beautiful. It's beautiful. So we're gonna have to wash it off and clean it up. That's quite common with cauliflower when the insects start to hit it. I'm gonna sit it down in a bucket over here. We have a spot right in here where the sun comes right across here out of the shade and it nails these here uh, cauliflowers. I don't know if there's a big enough head in this one here to even consider. Uh, yeah, it's white. It's white, but it's not very big. Let's check this one over here. This one's smaller, but it's 
It, uh, it's not very big. It's not real big. But the sun and the, the bugs. Sun and the bugs are starting to hit it. So let's look at some of the others first before we make an executive decision here. So let's cut this one here open and see what we got. My butter beans may go in this bed when we get it out. Yeah, Miss Wonder likes butter beans. Let's see what we I've been see. waiting for an empty bed in here. All right, let me cut, let me fold this baby over. I ain't letting the worms have my stuff. We're going to get it before they get to it. Mm -hmm. It's done this damage in the last two days. Yeah, so. it's been like a two-day period here, yeah. It don't take them long once they start. Let's get these leaves off of here. You see, they had not hardly touched this one yet. Yeah, this one. They're in there, though, I can tell you. Yeah. Ooh, the rabbits is going to be happy today. And, and the chickens. And tomorrow. <laughs> I bet the cows would eat this too. Oh, the cows would love it. We've been feeding the cows fresh cut hay all morning. They ain't gonna get this. Yeah, it's got some spots. It's gotta be washed. Yep, it's gotta be washed, but that's normal. Even though we had this covered, there's a, I don't know if you can see it with the camera, but it's really, really white down in this area down in here. But this is the sun come down through right on the tip top of it. It's already starting to turn it kind of a little bit of a yellowish color, but uh, that's another good you know, that's a good size. We love cauliflower. cauliflower. I love cauliflower. Just never have grown it before, so. I have, but we haven't together. No. Look at that. I just, looking in the bucket just thrills me. Yeah. This bed is fared a little better. Yeah, this bed doesn't have the worm pressure on it. Uh, not and as bad. tomatoes look... Got All tomatoes right. hanging so in there. Let's take another one of these. I'll come back in a minute and pull up all this other stuff and go feed it to the rabbits and the chickens. Yeah, next week is all 90s for us. So uh, I'd rather eat it than lose it. Yeah, yeah, because the worms, once those worms start, it's just a matter of, you know, and I'm not spraying nothing. Like I go, oh, you could spray seven. I'm not killing my body. My body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. I am not putting something in it that it should not be in there. There we go. Look at that. Another beautiful, beautiful cauliflower. cauliflower. Man. So what do you think about our harvest today? I think we're going to eat today. I think we're going to enjoy our food. We're going to enjoy what Psalm 190, uh, 128 says. Blessed is a man who raises his own food, basically, is what it says. So guys, we're going to enjoy what the Lord has blessed us with. And we are now going to go take all this, wash it up, clean it up, and get it ready to make us a feast and a meal with. Thank you guys from Pecan Grove. everybody it's feast day it is feast day my male rabbit he loves these ends right here come here little man let's, let's get you something there to eat on my girls here now they love I, I figured out how to feed these animals i found you know you funny thing you figure out stuff over time we got these feeders here. They don't care too much for the feeder. What they like for you to do is stick stuff through like this. And she'll just pull it as she needs it. The other rabbit gets really, really jealous really, really fast. <laughs> this one here now. She, A jealous rabbit? Really? Well, she goes to work instantly. She, she don't waste no time. Now, if I shove that stuff through like that, she'll sit there, and she just loves eating on that stuff. Now, she don't take there, no time. No, no, she, she consumes that stuff. I mean, it, that's going up. She's, she's just inhaling. One down stuff in here he just goms and messes all in it but now if you stick it down through from the top like this 
He loves when you stick it from the top. He will take all day long, he'll work on that and he'll pull it down and you'll come down here and it'll all just be gone at some point. These animals consume some feed. To be rabbits, they consume a lot of feed. Not store-bought feed. Not store-bought feed. I'm talking about fresh stuff like this. They consume a lot of stuff. She wants a, a cauliflower leaf. You want a cauliflower leaf? You know, everybody goes, man, I, look, I, my rabbits, I, <laughs> I'll probably overfeed them. I'll probably overfeed my rabbits. But they have a smorgasbord. And being in here, the sun doesn't hit them, but yet they get the the bright from there. They get plenty of airflow. Oh, yeah, good airflow in here, yeah. Lots. And the back wall keeps them from getting too hot or too cold. Yeah. That's pretty cute, though, the way you got it. The cage is decorated. <laughs> hey, I do this all the time with them because uh, they, they're like people. You know, they're a lot like people. Their diet changes. I mean, she'll eat on the carrots for a while, and then she'll eat on the cauliflower leaves for a while. She'll eat a little bit of rabbit feed over there. Uh, they, they get tired of eating the same thing all the time. So I, I try my best to make sure they have a diversified diet of natural stuff. He's tasting to see which one he likes better, he, carrots Believe or it or not, he cauliflower. would rather eat the feed than he had the other stuff. But I'll come up here in a little while and it'll all be gone. Now, they're, they're a lot, believe it or not, they're shy. They are kind of shy. They're kind of shy. And when I leave here, they become vacuum cleaners. I mean, they just start consuming this stuff. You got to put some on the other cage. Now, you got this one decorated up really good. This is the Wabitat. Lots of people want to know what it is. They're put out by Wabitat. Just look on Amazon. I'll try to put a link. And this is two cages together. Each one of them's got two cages, yeah, except, except the, the male. male. The two females have two cages. Yeah, they have two, two cages. How you like their decorated cages? <laughs> okay, now it's time to go see the chickens and the cows. Oh, we got one egg there. I am loving this thing. Over here. Two there. They're still warm. You don't have to do egg washing, and one there. Nope, one there. So that's what? Four. Four, and you got two at six. That's six. We only got six hens, so. If we get any more today, oops. Oops, yeah. I have to be careful putting them in there. I learned the other day, I dropped one in there and it's like a broke on me. The rabbit wants the egg. You can't have her eggs on. Even this ain't Easter. He's Easter bunny. He's an Easter bunny. All right. Have at it now. I'm going to give y'all one of these fruits here to peck around on. Alright, crybabies, come on. She likes cauliflower leaves. This candy's gonna get it all, girl.
Candy said, whoa, that's my, <laughs> she says, that's my cauliflower. <laughs> she took it away from Duke. They're going Dolly. Wait, you're stepping on my food. I ain't feeding that. Y'all want me to hand feed you. They want the cauliflower. Yeah, I know they. I know what they want, but I know what they're gonna do. They're gonna finish eating what they got. And like the cauliflower was better than the carrots. Yep. Look at them. They all sniffing for that cauliflower. They looking for that, ain't they? Uh oh. Trixie. <laughs> Shishan grabbed her a little bitty piece of leaf and backed off right quick so nobody would take it away yep. from her. <laughs> she found one little bite. That's it. Yeah, I don't know if y'all want carrots. Carrots is good for your eyes. They're like if you insist. We'll eat it if there's nothing else. Trixie, there's a little bitty bite right there if you want it. Look, Candy told the baby to move. I know. You see this white bucket. If you see this white bucket, you think that, look, she, her eyes follow that bucket. I put it behind me. Look at her. She's like, where'd that bucket go? You know what? I'm fixing to go down to the food plot, and I'm fixing to go start cutting that waist-deep grass down there, and I'm going to bring it up here. So you gluttons can have more to eat. They're looking poor. They look poor, yeah. They used to eat 24 hours a day. They eat poor. That's some good cows. <laughs> look at that. Look at that. A bunch of sport. Candy found it. She found that bite. Completely spoiled. That's all it's going to do. They're just spoiled. Three quarters of an inch of rain. They want to okay. know what that is. Huh? They want to know what it is. They think it's something they can eat. If y'all can't have this to eat, this is my rain gauge. So we only got three quarters of an inch? That's all we got. Now if we had three quarters of an inch almost in two weeks, 